Hey guys, how's it going? It is Memorial Weekend. It is Sunday. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful day. It's going to be up well into the 70s, I think low 80s. Problem is, is wind. I went and checked out uh, one spot this morning I thought would be protected. Of course, there's people here. This is a spot I've never fished. We've got land over here to protect us. Uh, got a couple trees, so I'm gonna just come down here. I've never fished here. Uh, looks like it's got a bit of a drop off here. I do see a marking out there. So there might be a little island out there or something under the water. It's a marking for boats. I didn't uh, want to head back to Turkey Creek and the reason is it's like 7 o'clock in the morning right now. I snuck out while still sleeping. And uh, I'm just going to fish for a couple hours, get home, and then I got to do honeydews today. So let's get set up. See a floaty out there? It looks like a log or something. And then I see the, uh, I don't know, little buoys out there, triple buoys. So that might be a little island or something, some sort of structure. So this is our spot. Let's give it a shot. Good luck us. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go over my rigs. You know I got I like these telescoping poles simply because they are uh, cheap. They are actually good. I've never broken one. So they work well for me. Uh, and in my backpack, I carry four of them. That's right, four. Each rigged up with something a little different. And that's why I like them. So I can just grab, switch poles, and move on. Got a, uh, got a hook and a leader along with a barrel swivel and some lead. I've got a bobber with a little bead. And right here, I've got a strike indicator, or I mean <laughs> a bobber stop that I can move up or down depending on the depth of the water. Uh, I've had people ask me, where do I get my stuff? Uh, sometimes I'll order. Uh, off a of Timu or something in the winter time when I'm bored and can get it cheap. Uh, but you can get this stuff on Amazon if you click below in my description. I've got some links to some of this stuff so you can order directly off of Amazon. So I've got a night crawler on here. I've got a dozen night crawlers left over from a week ago. I haven't been out, no, two weeks ago. Uh, I went to Seattle for a week, visit my family. So I haven't been out here in two weeks. These are left over from then. So they are a little anorexic. A little skinny. But they're still plenty lively. And we should be able to catch fish on them if the fish are biting out here. Always loosen up your drag. You get a big wiper, it's gonna take off on you. You don't want it to break your line. You don't want your pole going swimming. So, wish us luck. See if we can catch a couple fish. 
First fish in the morning, guys. First fish in the morning, right here. <clears throat> Feels a little bassy. We got it on a jerk bait, close to, close to shore. Feeling a little bassy. Look at that. Nice small mouth, it looks like. Very nice. Ooh, he's foul hooked. No wonder. That's strange. <clears throat> that is strange. He is foul hooked. Come here, buddy. Nice bass, nonetheless. Nice red eyes. Well, there it is, fell hooked. Anyway, let him go. See you later, buddy. Let's come around and whacked it with his tail or something. Okay. This wind is picking up. Got a feeling I won't be out here a whole lot longer. Bobber went down, guys. Bobber went completely down. Let's get down again. We got him. We got him. We got a fish on there, guys. We got one. Feels pretty good. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. We got a fish. Finally. Finally one on the night crawler. Feels like a decent fish. Feels like a decent enough fish. Kind of feels like a walleye. Doesn't feel very bassy. Let's see what we got here. Comes my bobber. Comes our bobber. Don't get tangled up in the other line. Let's see what we've got here. That is looking like a walleye. Look at that, first walleye of the season, guys. Right here. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right, buddy. Hooked right in the upper lip. Decent looking fish. Eight, probably about 17, 18. We want to put a tape on them. Do we want to put tape on them? We can do that real quick. Got this new tape thingy. There we go. Oh, he is. That's 19. Just over 19 inches, guys. Just over 19 inches. Okay. Let's let him go. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. See you later, buddy. Awesome. Two fish. Two fish. Smalley. Get that little smalley and uh, walleye. Okay. We're gonna get another night crawler on now. Only thing I did different is I added about a foot. So leave my strike indicator down about a foot. So I'm fishing about a foot deeper here. I'm not really sure how deep it is. Fishing about 10 feet down, 9, 10 feet. But that seemed to be the correct depth. So we will get another night crawler on here. Get right back out there. Okay, guys, that bobber swimming right. Swimming right. Baby. Come on, baby. I was swimming right. It did go under. I was running over here. Now it's not doing anything. Got a pretty good dangle below the hook on that worm. So it could have just taken the tail end of that worm and took off. Damn. Come on, buddy. 
nothing there. I like to give it just a little movement. Sometimes that'll entice them to take it if they're in the area, but he sure as heck isn't. There it goes. Is that going to right? No, nope, there's nothing there. Nothing there. Just gonna troll it in, nice and slow. Some stops, and we'll do a worm check. He might have got the tail of that worm. Probably another walleye. And we got we got something. We got something. Got something on the troll. Doesn't feel very big, but we got something on the troll, guys. Feels bassy. What do we got here? Our bluegilly. Look at that big old fat bluegill. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. Got him trolling it in. I was halfway in, so I don't think it was a fish that was hitting us. Nice bluegill. Let him go. Worm is pretty beat up, but we're gonna let it fly. We are gonna let it fly. Don't think that's what was hitting us earlier. You never know, could have been, but I don't think so. There we go. Almost loosen that drag, guys. We're back fishing. So I got one rod with a night collar and one with a jerk bait. I uh, often will run, uh, oh, let's loosen the drag. I'll often run a uh, bobber on one and uh, throw something with another just because I don't like sitting there all day. Now, if they're hitting the uh, night crawler heavy then I'll run two bobbers and night crawlers but uh, I like to be active and do some casting as well had a bite right there I think there's a little mill foil there and I think they're just on the outside of the mill foil they could just be bluegill or something that's like that spot. That spot, guys. I'm just trying to catch one more fish. This wind is horrendous. The wife's got to be waking up in the next half hour or so. So, we're going to try and catch one more fish and call it a morning. We've only been out here about an hour and a half. So, just an hour and a half. go guys we got one got one right where I thought we would over by the mill foil I was just trolling it in slow it doesn't feel very big but with this fish we are going to call it a morning been out here less than two hours not too bad but this wind is horrendous got a feeling the wife is waking up by now and yes yeah, just another little bluegill but we're gonna call it a morning had a great time out here do me a favor if uh, you like fishing hit that thumbs up button that uh, will bring you good luck subscribe if you haven't already I also want to thank uh, our members I've got four members I want to thank you so much I really appreciate you and uh, hopefully when this wind craps out uh, we'll be back here again so, for the next week or so. So, gonna call it a day. Thanks so much, guys. We'll see y'all next time.